Sega Sega Guego, I'm Regan Jacobs and I'm broadcasting live for Aquas Esne TV, hoping to give you an update on the most recent happenings in and around Aquas Esne as related to the COVID-19 pandemic. So right now I'm broadcasting live from my home and had a little bit of technical difficulties there. I uploaded our Facebook app onto my son's iPad and it was a little wiggy. Anyways, so of main importance, we have been working closely with both the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe and the Mohawk Council of Akwazesne's communications team and other sources of media in order to keep you informed. Both the SRMT and MCA continue to implement protective measures to ensure the ongoing health, safety and well-being of all Akwazes Lono and the community at large and are working in tandem with the SRMT Emergency Operations Centre. For any emergency related matters, please call the EOC at 518-320-0019 or email at eoc at srmt-nsn.gov. Okay, so before we get started, I'd like to take a moment um, to say that we hope everyone is keeping well in these difficult times. And if you're feeling a little challenged mentally, emotionally, there are definitely people who are there to help. The mental health team at the SRMT facility is asking anyone in need of mental health services to, con to contact them. They are able to provide services by phone or video chat, so feel free to call their office at 518-358-3145 from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And if you're in a crisis after or after hours, please call 518-651-9981. Okay, so I'm going to pop on over to the recent operational briefing that was issued just at 2 p.m. today from the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe. And they are asking people to follow the latest measures and protocols taking in coordination with the Emergency Operations Center. Now, there have been um, ongoing updates to all the reported cases that are around the community of Akwesasne. So in Franklin County, as of 1 p.m. today, there are two reported cases of coronavirus. St. Lawrence County is now reporting five. Um, New York State as a, as a whole is 44,635. United States as a whole is 92,932. And of that number, 812 have been recovered. Now keep in mind, this is from the New York State Department of Health and worldwide 566,269 cases of COVID. Um, I know yesterday uh, the city of Cornwall had issued a state of emergency declaring that they were considered a hot spot. So people want to, you know, obviously want to keep that in mind when they're traveling. Now I know all week long, the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe and the Mohawk Council have both issued state of emergency statement saying that they are requesting, requiring more so in the safety and the health and well-being of all of the community members to isolate, stay indoors, don't go out if you, if you don't have to. Um, and if you do, you want to stay within that 50 mile radius, 50 mile radius that they are uh, recommending in order to keep yourself safe. And you're only going out for essential items like groceries, um, and uh, medical emergencies, pharmacy visits, things like that. Um, so the stay at home self quarantine that was issued by both the Mohawk Council and the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe is urging, is urging all travelers returning to Akwazesne from beyond the 50 mile radius, which is what I just mentioned, to self quarantine at home. This includes those who traveled for non-essential and essential purposes, including for work, vacation, school, release from ins incarceration and other reasons. With the number of reported uh, cases increasing in Franklin County and St. Lawrence County and within the Eastern Ontario Health Union uh, catchment, it is now a critical time to practice social distancing. We all are aware of these uh, precautions that people should be taking. Um, and limit your lo and limit your travel to local only. Stay home and only travel for essential items, which I re uh, re mentioned earlier. 
um, and also to keep in mind to social distance. So there are a lot of other updates to do with certain services between the Mohawk Council or the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe. We ran the, ga the gauntlet of them yesterday on uh, my co-host uh, Doug's uh, live. You can go check that out. You can also go to the SRMT Facebook page or the Mohawk Council of Akwazasne Facebook page. Everything's on there that you need to know about essential services, of course, both our organizations are saying, don't stop in, call first and make an appointment. That way they can assess if it's needed that you need to be there or show up. Um, but you can also visit their websites and um, uh, call the emergency hotline number that I started out with at the beginning here on this broadcast. Um, so all of those uh, previous announcements are available on the Akwazasne TV Facebook page. We have been broadcasting live all week, so please, uh, you know, pop down and see some of those previous broadcasts. Uh, we also had our local leadership here in Akwazasne making statements throughout the week. You had Chief SRMT Chief Beverly Cook uh, joined along with Mohawk Council of Akwazasne Grand Chief Abram Benedict to make a statement about the importance of these protocols and why these recommendations are being made. And again, it's all in the health and safety and well-being of the Akwazasne community. So that's it for now. If you see news or you hear news happening local that you think that we should be covering here on Akwazasne TV, please don't hesitate to reach out to us um, here in our inbox or send us an email. Now we'll go for tuning in. I'm Regan Jacobs reporting live for ATV. Onigiwahi. Yo, honey, yo, honey, yo, honey.